This is Leon at the computer room, Nottingham. What I've got here is an iPhone 4S uh, that's been sent to us from Australia. If you can recognise that postmark there. It's got uh, battery connected damage. Here we are. Okay, so what we're going to do is take a look to see what needs to be done with this uh, to uh, get the battery connector soldered back in and working properly. Alright, then what we have here is uh, the area that uh, the battery connector sits in. I've just sort of tidied it up a little bit. I found that the two middle pads are damaged uh, so we're going to have to uh, fix that issue. The other four pads are okay. I'm going to solder a new connector to those pads uh, then fix the issues with the two damaged pads in the middle and then we should Here be we there. We've got the new connector in. It's held down and uh, sort of soldered down should I say uh, at the back with the two pins. Good strong solder device holding it in. Uh, we've got some issues to sort out with these two pins, with the solder pads they solder to being damaged. Uh, they can't solder down to uh, the pads because of the damage, the power is going to get through to where it needs to, so we're going to handle that now. And uh, yeah, we'll see. you'll see how we right, do it. We've uh, got the wires in here that are going to be fixing the issues with the solder pads not being there. We're running them from the pins, obviously, up to where they need to go. Uh, we'll get them soldered in next and um, then we'll get it switched on and tested. Yeah, we've got the battery connector in, we've got these wires going to where they need to go. So what I'm going to do next, just put in a test battery and uh, we'll switch on to make sure it can power and charge. Ok, then, so we've got a new battery in, um, no, we've got a test battery should I say. Uh, the iPhone switched on straight away, we've got it connected to power. It's charging as you can see, it started off at 55%, it's been increasing ever since it's been connected. Uh, it's not restarting, it's not showing any signs of uh, power problems or anything like that, so that's all done. We're going to keep it uh, charging for a little bit longer, but apart from that it's looking good. Now if you've got your own iPhone 4S uh, with uh, battery connector problems, then uh, please do give us a call or send us a message. Uh, as I said at the beginning, this iPhone was sent to us from Australia, uh, wherever you are in the world, we can always help.